and welcome to the Junior School Presentation Day Ceremony. What a year we've had. Today's ceremony format is quite different to anything we have presented before, but please don't let the change of format draw from the outstanding achievements of our fabulous Junior School students. Whilst 2020 has been a year of challenges, the resilience and strong sense of community here at Cobram Anglican Grammar School has shone through. Our junior school students, families and staff rose to the COVID challenge, adapted the learning, parenting and teaching and made it through to the end of the year, with many lessons learnt, including many that fall outside of the traditional teaching and learning curriculum. I'm so very proud of the achievements of our junior school students, the adaptability of our dedicated and supportive families and the professional commitment and flexibility of our wonderful staff. God of all knowledge, we open our minds to learn and to understand. God of all creation, who opens our imaginations to build and create. God of all hope, who opens our hearts for the world of our wildest dreams. We give thanks for the talents represented here today, for our wisdom, knowledge and understanding. We give thanks for the pride we take in our accomplishments as individuals and as a community. We celebrate with you our success, a year completed, stories written, jobs well done. We mourn with you our failures, failures to see one another simply for who we are. We ask all this in your name. Amen. Acknowledgement of land. Cobham and Killick Grammar School acknowledges the traditional custodians of the land which our school is located and where we meet here today and we pay our respects to ancestors and elders past, present and emerging for the whole the memories, to traditions, the culture and the hopes of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples across the nation. Cobham Angular Grammar School is committed to honouring Australian Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples culture and spiritual relationships to the land, water and seas and their rich conditions to society. Hello and greetings from my office here in Perth, Western Australia. I'm sorry I can't be with you uh, on this uh, end of year presentation day for 2020, although of course it's a very different one for all of you at Cobram Anglican Grammar School being a virtual presentation this year. So much has been virtual this year, I guess we've become quite used to it, uh, not the least being uh, our teaching and learning program, which for a large part of the year, of course, uh, has been remote. As uh, we come to this particular day and we acknowledge those who are the prize winners and those who have gone out of their way uh, in, in all sorts of ways um, at, at Cobram Anglican Grammar this year, um, I do want to congratulate you, but also thank uh, every member of the teaching staff for what you have done to ensure that teaching and learning continued uh, without a break, um, whether it was in the classroom or whether it was through remote learning. It's required an extraordinary effort. It's required uh, skills that uh, I think many uh, teachers didn't necessarily know they had. But what a great achievement uh, it has been to ensure that learning went on uninterrupted. A big thank you to the teaching staff and also to all the support staff who ensured the school uh, continued uh, to provide all the services that we would normally expect um, to provide in a school year. Also a big uh, congratulations and thank you to the students, indeed your families as well. Uh, at home, uh, sometimes your bedroom or your dining room became the classroom. Uh, for many, many weeks of this year. Uh, and that's been challenging, challenging for parents and, and indeed for you. So well done to you for what you've managed to achieve uh, by whatever means uh, to ensure that your learning could continue this year. A big thank you. 2020 certainly has been a year to remember and for some maybe a year uh, to forget. It started with the, the bushfires uh, in and around uh, your region uh, throughout the northeast, and that certainly um, brought devastation to property and, and livestock 
and, and families, uh, with some families uh, even losing their homes. That was a terrible start, but at the time we didn't know that around the corner was the COVID-19 global pandemic, and that, of course, has, provide, has um, meant extraordinary disruption uh, to our life and our, our way of life throughout 2020. Of course, that isn't yet over. But amidst all of that, uh, Cobram Anglican Grammar School continued, continued strongly. Uh, this year, of course, marked the end of uh, Mr Gale's uh, tenure as principal of the school. Uh, he was instrumental in the growth and development of Cobram. Uh, it was under his leadership that uh, enrolments grew, that the school came uh, to become part of the Anglican Schools Commission. Uh, and indeed, even the name change from Christ the King Anglican College to Cobram Anglican Grammar School. So a very significant period of leadership, and I do thank uh, Steve and his wife Rhonda uh, for their efforts over many years and wish them very well uh, now as they are in retirement. And as Mr Gale left, Mr Willard arrived, uh, and it's terrific uh, to welcome uh, you, Keith, as principal of Cobram, journeyed an hour or so up the road from Cathedral College where you'd been deputy principal and brought with you much experience and, and much love for uh, the region uh, where you have served, I think for, um, for, for 30 or more years um, at, as a teacher and educational leader. We were thrilled uh, that you accepted the position of principal and very much look forward to your leadership over uh, the school for many years to come. And it has been challenging for a large part of this last semester. Uh, the students were in remote learning. Uh, so you were principal of a school where most of the students weren't, weren't on campus. But with all of that, you and the staff have ensured uh, that uh, good teaching, good learning, uh, good care of every one of the Cobram students has continued. It, it's been especially difficult for, for many of you in Cobram with the border closures uh, for a period of time and the challenge of navigating the, uh, the bridge uh, between Cobram and Baruga uh, and the New South Wales Victoria um, restrictions uh, was not easy. Um, indeed, a daily challenge to have to deal with but you've managed to do so and, uh, and we've got to the end of the year and, and we're probably uh, considerably stronger for, what, um, for the experience of it all. I'd also like to acknowledge uh, the uh, change of chairs of school council this year. After an extraordinary period of service um, by Mr Trevor Noonan uh, as chair of school council, uh, Trevor retired at the end of last year and uh, Malcolm Kerr um, took over as the new chair. And, and again, what a year for you, Malcolm, to have to uh, lead the school council uh, through all the challenges of 2020. Thank you to you and all members of the school council for your careful and wise governance of Cobram Anglican Grammar School. And uh, we, the Anglican Schools Commission, are immensely grateful for what you have um, given and continue to give uh, selflessly and voluntarily uh, in that role. Well, today is a time to celebrate uh, the great achievements of so many uh, students in the school and I do congratulate you uh, on what you, what you have uh, achieved this year and also as we look forward to 2021. We're not sure what next year is going to bring yet. We hope uh, there are many uh, good uh, pieces of news for us, including um, a COVID-19 vaccine in 2021. But whatever it does bring, um, I know that the Cobram Anglican Grammar School community will stay united as a school and, and stay committed to what it does well, which is being a, uh, offering really good teaching, learning and care to everyone within the community. As we come to this Christmas uh, holiday period, um, I wish you a relaxing um, and renewing time as you spend time uh, with family and friends. It's a time at Christmas when we give thanks 
uh, for the birth of Christ and, and all that means for us um, in our lives today. So I wish you a blessed and holy Christmas and as we approach 2021, that it might be a year of uh, hope, of expectation, not only uh, within our school community and the communities beyond, but also for each one of you. I wish you a blessed and holy Christmas. Today we celebrate those students that have achieved academic excellence for their year level. Academic excellence is awarded to the student that achieves the highest results in formal subject specific assessments throughout the school year. These students are diligent, consistent and conscientious in their studies and they seek assistance to continuously strive to be the best they can be. In our foundation class, academic excellence has been awarded to Alice Lebner. Alice Lebner, congratulations. You should be very proud of this award and I'm sure you've worked very hard right across the year to make sure that you're the person who gets that award. So well done, congratulations. And a beautiful little COVID handshake. In Year 1, our Class Academic Excellence Award is awarded to Bronte Bate. Bronte, congratulations. Uh, these awards don't come easily. I know how hard people have to work to get them. And clearly you've been a very hard worker right across the year. So congratulations. You should be very proud of this award. Well done. Magnificent Bronte. And in our Year 2 class, our Academic Excellence Award goes to Angelina McKay. Good morning, Angelina, and uh, here is your Academic Excellence Award for Year 2. I'd be very interested to find out some of that work we've been doing in Year 2. That uh, I think I'd, I'd find that quite fascinating. Congratulations, you've had a wonderful year. Well done. And in Year 3, our Academic Excellence Award goes to Isabel Haberfield. Isabel, congratulations. So year three, academic excellence, that's uh, something you should be very proud of. I think you need to make sure this goes home and you look after it and you make sure you show it to all your family and friends. You should be very proud of this. Well done. Good work. And our year four academic excellence award is awarded this year to Murray Broderick. Murray, congratulations, well done. I've heard lots of things about the Year 4s and I've heard lots of really good things about your work right across the year. So this is a wonderful achievement. Congratulations. You should be very proud of it. Good work. Congratulations to our five Junior School Academic Excellence Award recipients. Hello everyone and welcome to our Presentation Day Ceremony for 2020. What an amazing year it has been, full of new experiences, challenges and hardship. It is during these times we discover just how resilient each one of us can be. What can be achieved when we work together and certainly what a wonderful, caring school community we enjoy. It is a year we will remember forever. Today we celebrate the achievements of our students. What a great job you have done to hone your skills, increase your knowledge and develop your potential to be the young people we can all be proud of in a year that has been a real challenge for you as well. Well done to each and every one of you. Keep up the good work into next year as well. But let us not forget the achievements of our staff, both teaching and non-teaching, who have worked so hard together to ensure the best possible outcomes for us all. Working together, sharing ideas and resources, being super organised, learning new technologies. This year has been a challenge for staff as well. On behalf of the School Council, I thank all staff for their efforts, which are about to be reflected in the achievements of our students to be announced and celebrated during this ceremony. To our parents, thank you for the support that you have given us and for supporting your child's education as you have done this year. And a special thank you to our principal, Mr. Willock. It is challenging enough to take on the role of a principal, but to do so amongst the uncertainties of this year 
and to do it so well is very gratifying and a credit to his ability. Mr Willard, on behalf of the school community, thank you for your vision, energy and sound leadership which has guided us through the year that was 2020. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all members of the school council for the work they have done this year. I'm excited by what we have achieved and we will achieve much more in the years to come, I am sure. Lastly, may I wish you a wonderful Christmas and a relaxing holiday break. Stay safe, look after each other, and I look forward to seeing you back at school, energised and ready to tackle 2021. Thank you. We are delighted to introduce to you our major award winners for Junior School in 2020. Our first major award is the Neighbourhood Watch Award. The recipients of this award have demonstrated Christian values, they look out for their peers, they create a warm, friendly and caring environment and are well respected and liked within the school community. Our three Neighbourhood Watch Award recipients for the Junior School are Grace Grant, Harlan Robbins and Olivia Henson. Well done guys, uh, this is a magnificent award and you should be very proud of it. And what it does, it speaks volumes of your citizenship and I think that's a very important. In fact, for me as principal, having good citizens at our school is probably the most important thing. So congratulations. Grace, congratulations. There's your certificate. Harlan, congratulations. And Olivia, congratulations. Well done to all three of you. Our next award is the Cobram Lions Club Award. The recipient of this award is someone who always works to the best of their ability and conducts themselves in an exemplary manner. This student shows resolve and enterprise towards the successful completion of all schoolwork and regularly exceeds expectations. Our 2020 Cobram Lions Club Award recipient is Tanil Kautai. Congratulations, Tanil. Ending a, what has been a fabulous year for you. Well done. Our next award is the Rotary Club of Cobram Academic Scholarship. The recipient of this award is a student who upholds the core values of service, dignity, diversity, integrity and leadership. Our junior school, Rotary Club of Cobram Academic Scholarship is awarded to Heidi Guthrie. Congratulations, Heidi. What a wonderful award and a very deserving recipient. Well done. And our final award is the St Margaret's Award for Citizenship. The recipient of this award is a student who demonstrates in their school life a manner and leadership style which distinctly embodies Christian principles. This student is moral, humble, calm and kind. This year's recipient of the St Margaret's Citizenship Award is Janelle Tanshute. Congratulations Janelle, well done. You are definitely a friend to all. Good job. Congratulations to our six Junior School Major Award recipients. Hello and what a pleasure it is to be part of today's Junior School Presentation Ceremony. This is my first presentation ceremony at Cobham Anglican Grammar School and I must admit that I'm feeling a little nervous. I've been incredibly impressed with our foundation to Year 4 learners right across this year. I know that you all have progressed so very much with your learning and your friendships. The fact that we've all maintained our efforts despite the issues and problems associated with COVID-19 has been a credit to all of our young people from foundation to year four, well done. I would also like to express my sincere thanks and appreciation for the wonderful work of our teachers across foundation to year four. The ability of our teachers to remain adaptable and agile during the periods of remote teaching and learning was quite remarkable. I know how hard our teachers work and how mindful they are that all of our students have as many opportunities at school as possible. And when talking about the CAG staff, I would also like to express my appreciation to our administration staff and our maintenance staff who kept the school ticking over right across the year, particularly during those challenging periods of term two and three 
when we had no students here. Thank you to those wonderful staff as well. My thanks, admiration and respect are also extended to our parents. I understand how difficult 2020 has been for many people for a huge variety of reasons. It is often said that the education of a young person is a collaborative exercise between home and school and this has never been more evident than over this past year. I extend my congratulations and a hearty well done to all of those students who have been presented with awards today or whose names appear in the presentation day booklet. These awards do not come easily. They are the result of hard work and a commitment to being the best you can be. To be a recipient of an award is something to which all Cobham Anglican Grammar School students should aspire. As the school year comes to a close, I wish all a wonderful Christmas with family and friends and I look forward to working with you in 2021. Thank you. When the song of the angels is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the shepherds are back with the flocks, then the work of Christmas begins. To find the lost, to heal those broken in spirit, to feed the hungry, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among all peoples, to make a little music with the heart, and to radiate the light of Christ in all that we do and in all that we say. Then the work of Christmas begins. This concludes our junior school presentation ceremony. I congratulate our entire junior school cohort on a fabulous 2020, and I can't wait to see what wonderful experience lay ahead of us all in 2021. Thank you.